There we go. Alright, so... This is a completely new game to me. I've never... Uh... I've never seen anything of it. And also, chat, before I start, audio levels, are they good? Are they still good, or is the music a little bit too loud? Just want to make sure before I start playing. Well, just in case the music is a bit loud, okay, I'll turn it down then. Is it, um, better now? Ooh, streamer settings. Enable streamer mode. If streamer no mode is enabled, a bot named Reaper Beep Boop will join the your channel's chat. A red book will appear on your desk in-game. Viewers can vote by sending special chat messages specified here. Cl clicking on the red book will start the vote and show you the results once the, once the timer runs out. Clicking the book while the vote is in progress will close it and the vote stop the vote. Have fun! Ooh! So this means... Chat, this means you'll be able to uh, interact with the game! I did not know that this game had um, chat integration. Ooh, that's... That's very funny. That's, that, that's very cool. Not funny. Okay, so, um, chat. You see, command, chat, command to die, chat, command to live. I'm gonna, um... I'm gonna, uh, turn this on. And... You are going to mess up my game. Oh, boy. Alright. First up, let me just put in my channel name. Already, I like the music for the um, in, uh, for the main menu. Oh no, Lucky! Oh no, Lucky! Please, <laughs> Lucky is has a very devious smile in chat, and I am scared. Oh no! Also, before I do that, I'm gonna um. I'm going to retweet uh, my uh, stream announcement just to say that uh, we're now switched to death and taxes. Tweet is sent. All right, so let's start a new game. No, I don't want to skip intro. Oh, this is cool. Whoa. Fate Keeper of uh, World Order. Um. Lemon? What? There's all this and then lemon. <sighs> Whoa, does this game have voice acting? Very funny! Oh my god! That's a nice Beatles reference. Okay. Um. 
What's that? Was that a solid, like, a Metal Gear Solid alert noise? So now I get to choose my character. Whoa. Um. Ooh, I like uh, this one. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, I'm good on that one. Um. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> oh my god. And there's uh, Hitman. I don't, uh, I don't know what... This, this, these aren't references, I'm just making fun of it. Wow! That is... tacky. I, I swear to god, if this is a, like a blue one... Do I want to be Sans? Do I really want to be Sans? Oh, there's no blue one. This one is ridiculous, though. I think I like the invisible skeleton more. This is bad. This is boring. Um, I like this one the best. Begin the bureaucratic afterlife. I mean, I guess. Finally, the new spawn has awoken. Ooh. What a uh, momentous day. I am honored to welcome you into our world. Spawn. Hang on. Spawn number four, six. Really? Couldn't you have picked a better number? Like, I don't know, 420 or something? I am fate. I am the keeper of world order. <laughs> Where am I? What is this? What am I? Hello, a ple pleasure to meet you, Fate. I don't care much for just being 46. Can I be Fate? <laughs> I... I just want to click this just because I want to see what happens. Another ironic one. <laughs> no. You may call yourself the Grim Reaper, <laughs> as that is what you are. Uh... Alright, I already like this game. Welcome to your new job as an overseer of Cosmopolis City Subdivision 4, the Sun County Wine Region. I know what you are thinking, and yes, your assignment is choosing humans who have to die pretty standard stuff. As it is your first day, try to get to know the system and do not destroy the world, yes? <laughs> Gallows humor, you see? Right, yes. <clears throat> Clear? What I want to know is how much I'm getting paid. Because I'm not taking this job unless I'm getting paid big, big bucks, come on. Most certainly. The contract stipulates that every death gets a fair salary based on their performance accuracy. Okay, that's good, that's good. Chat, you better not mess up this one for me, because I need this money. I need it so much. You don't know how much I need it. I spent so much money on this computer. Marking profiles correctly is the most important task. If you mark more or less than necessary, you will not 
get your fee. Chat. Okay. Chat, I'm looking at you. I'm looking directly at you. Do not mess this up for me. Errors in secondary tasks will reduce the total, even if the primary task is <laughs> executed correctly. Oh, very, very funny. I'm, I'm still looking at Lucky's mischievous smile in chat, and I'm just feeling fear run up my spine. Because I know that Lucky is going to mess, mess me up so many times. Remember... The fate of the world lies in your hands. Humans march towards the great dying. The what? They always teeter on the precipice. Wait, creating why did he say chaos. teeter like that? Teeter, teeter, teeter. Um, teeter is just a weird word to say. Uh, kind of feels me gross me saying it. Whatever. Continue. We keep humans from falling off. We establish the equilibrium and keep the chaos in check. For that reason, your actions will have consequences. I was born to do this. Yes, you were. <laughs> Literally. Yep. I will now show you your workplace. One more thing. This will be your seven-day evaluation period. When the week is done, you will be... assessed. I don't like that. I really don't like that. That sounds... ominous. One week to show us what you are made of, Reaper. Okay. Chat. See, this is the, more the type of game that I can, like, focus more into. I have a phone, at least. Good for procrastinating and scrolling through cock... Cocker? What? I wonder if I'm making a difference? Galaxy brain. Black hole is set to end all life? I mean, eventually. Marker of death. Better pick it up and start marking some files. Well, I could commune with the voices of the ether to help me decide. My instructions for today, all right. Welcome, Grim. Here are the files on humans who are in life-threatening situations within your domain. I am granting your t you time to settle in, so no difficult rules and requests as of today. Quota for the day, one human has to die. Send me the files by fax after you have made your decision. Good luck on the first day, fate. Matthias Ulia. What if... Jonathan Carey. Tough break. Alright, let's see. Name is Matthias Uliam. Age is 18. Position is a student. It has been said that Matthias talks too much. However, they, they themselves think that they may not be talking enough at all. Space radiation is their passion, and they are endlessly fascinated by black holes. Okay. And this dude... Jonathan Carey, age 39, position lawyer. Jonathan enjoys doing pro bono work at various penal, pe penal panel. How do you say that word? I don't. I don't know how to say that word. That facilities all over the country in order to reduce sentences of minor offenders. In their free time, they like to go train spotting with friends and family. Chat. Okay, chat. Are you ready to vote? Are you ready to vote? Because I'm going to start the vote. In three, two, one. Type die or spare on this guy. Exclamation die or exclamation square. Come on. I suppose... 
I suppose this uh, game works a lot better when there's more people in chat, so... I'm gonna have to do this myself. Oh man. Oh man. Jonathan enjoys doing pro bono work at various panel facilities all over the world in order to help reduce sentences, sentences of minor offenders. See, I like Jonathan. I like Jonathan a whole lot. And he... Yes, Matthias is younger. Oh, man. Oh, man. Because here's the, here's the issue. Jonathan is older than Matthias, but uh, Jonathan is doing a very good job at helping uh, people uh, who have minor offenses get their sentences reduced, while Matthias just talks a whole lot and likes space. I hate to do this, but I think Jonathan can do a whole lot more good than Matthias can right now. Because he's a lawyer, and... Ah, I, ah, God, I, I hate having to choose between people. Uh... Yeah, I'm sorry, Matthias. Sorry. And carry you a leaf. Yep. What? What is this? The Grim Office? Oh, I see. Oh, this is weird. What ho, customer! Welcome to Quartermaster Mortimer's Plunder Emporium! That's certainly a mouthful. As you may guess, I am Mortimer. The Mortimer. The one you may have heard of. The famous, nay, infamous. Quartermaster! Um, never heard of you before. You jest. I once scoured many sea and land, alleviating merchantmen from the burden of excess wealth. Um... Sure, okay. Mayhaps the wares of me emporium will impress ye more. Browse at your will. Ears of the Beasts. A pair of cat ears would look really nice on me and inspire all the felines of the world. Just don't talk or even think about them. Film <laughs> adaptation of the musical. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. <laughs> oh, that's funny. This resonator coll uh, collects accelerated electromagnetic waves of various frequencies generated by the artificial vibration of eternal re recurrence, which travel through the air either, and then blast them at you. Okay, I don't have any money, but it's fun. That's very funny. Cactus, the most brutal of plants. <laughs> Cactus. All right. Hold on, I, I gotta explore. I can't go in there. Oh, this is weird. Oh, I can use the scroll wheel to move around. That's that's much better. Oh, it's a bit tough to line up, but. <laughs> I mean, 
Yep. Yeah, that's just the. F I I love that reference. That's really really good. How do I how do I exit this thing? Am I supposed to go somewhere? Oh, I'm supposed to go here. I see. Oh, the new death spawn. Welcome. How was your first day? Bad, a person died. I hate following orders. Okay, I guess. Really good. I... Okay, I guess. Good, good. I understand it may take time to get acclimated. Everyone goes through that phase. Remember, lives are on the line. Very funny. I see exactly one person perished today. As task. Did you figure out the best choice? The best? There were only two options. Indeed. I am glad you are paying attention. In the future, I may require you to make more difficult choices. Ooh, I don't like that. Such is the unfortunate, indisputable, incontrovertible, ironclad law of cosmos. Question? No, I think I'm pretty much sure what I have to do. Keep your eye on the letter for future guidelines. And keep up the good work. Alright. A new day awaits. Off you go now. I don't like this guy very much. Money, however. I wonder if I can get anything from down here now. Nope. Nope. Still too expensive. Alright. Yeah, there's nothing much I can do right now. This music, though. Ooh. Ooh. 24-hour low-key hip-hop chill beats to listen to while you, uh, kill people. Do your job. Yeah, okay. Oh, that's quite a lot. I, Morning Grim, I hope you found your ad accommodations ac adequate. Here are the rules of the day. Follow them and you will be okay. I am handing you another simple task. Quota for the day. One human with an engineering or industrial background has to die. Business as usual. Fates. Crow news. Local hobbyist wins. Um, photo competition with fabulous frames in a f with, of a freight train caught in a storm. Pro news, local teen perishes in hospital after mishap with high voltage hyperboloid. No! <laughs> Science Today, in depth overview of the merits of nuclear power. Don't like that! Alright, chat. Are you ready to vote? Well, let's first. I'll, let's just see what we got first. Move this over here. Safiso Ek. Age 44, general contractor. Safiso constructs buildings, not much to, else to it. They try their best to manage balance between the demands of the clients and experimental, experimenta, experimental ideas of architects. In their spare time, they like carving small sculptures. Oh, that's cute. What about Rafika Alkiri? Age 33, aerodynamics engineer. Rafika is very much into renewable energy and has been trying to figure out new experimental ways of making power generation more difficult. They also love flying kites and playing with their dog. Okay, I like her. I like her a lot. Victor Yashir, age 47, position safety inspector. Victor graduated at the top of their class and made a fast climb on the career ladder, becoming the chief safety inspector of a local nuclear power plant. They have already spotted several mistakes, possibly pre preventing many accidents. Okay. 
I hate having to kill someone, but my choice is clear. But I do want to see what chat thinks. So. Wait, what does the dialogue say? Rafika Alkiri, do not gen go gentle into that good night. I can't, I can't read that. Victoria Shin clicks tongue. Yeah, no. Oh, it's just random dialogue. Okay. So, chat, you now have 30 seconds to, uh, to vote who lives and who dies. Okay? So, let's see. Vote! Exclamation die or exclamation live in three, two, one, go. For Sifiko Ek. Um, nobody voted. Okay. Once again, this is better. F you Hello. Maybe it'll stop making noise if I put it in my drawers. Okay. So actually, instead of just using this, I could just ask to chat directly. Alright. So, chat. Because there's not many people in chat, I could just ask. Who lives and who dies? I'm just asking for your opinion. I know who I want to pick. I'm just not sure uh, what people in chat think. So, I'm going to wait for a bit. seeing any activity from chat so sorry Sifiso Sifiso Eek I'm going for Victor just because they solve problems solve problems for live or die do you want Victor to live or die He can live for now. Okay. Victor Yashin, you will live. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Uh, what about the others? Just want to ask before, before we continue. That sax, or that that brass is that instrument. I I don't know what it is, but it's it's really good. Ooh, 
call it sound to it. Chat's being very slow, and I, I don't think I'm not I'm not blaming Chat. I think it's just something that's going on. But yeah, I'm going to. Sorry, Safiko, Safiko, Safiso. I'm, you are dying. And Rafika, Rafika can live a little as a treat. <laughs> Yep. I'm glad we're on the same page. Alright. Now time to send it off. Now let's go see Fate. Grim. How was the second day on the job? Uh, I'd say it was good. Good. So, did you follow the rules properly? I did. Great. Yes, everything looks to be in order. Continue the good work and do not let tough choices get you down. I still don't know what I'm doing. I think you do. Stop doubting yourself. You have it in you to be a great Grim Reaper. Rest well. You will need it. See you soon. I don't like that cat. Nope. Not a fan of that cat. Alright, now I should be able to uh, forge something. Jolly Roger! Oh my god. Again ye honor me, tiny abode, with your visit. What is this? Our academic visage. Clothing. A pair of sleek, stylish modern glasses that grant a pleasant face to wear. And make me look wicked smart. Way smarter than the boss, you know. <laughs> Never trust a man with a cat. Um... Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, I would say that you're correct. Because I'm thinking of, like, the only people, men with cats, is, like, uh, Claw from Inspector Gadget. And you should definitely not trust Claw. Infernal Illuminator. The infer Infernal Illuminator reveals that which is most deeply hidden. Once you've already made the choices and are passing through again, else it can't show anything, because that's how things work, okay? I mean, alright. Um... I think I'm gonna go get this. Yes. Shiver me timbers. Tis a tale most sordid. I dare not even recall the details. But since ye wish to hear it, I shall tell it forthwith. I mean, okay. There I was, scouting some rickety office building downtown. And I saw this in an elevator. Went in. Tore it out and made a run for it. <laughs> I thought you were a pirate. Like The device has immense power. Ye turn the knob. Infinite pleasant noises come from it. Some might even call it music. Um, that's probably what it is. I mean, I right, see ya. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What is this? Oh, this is um. That's just what I purchased. Okay. This is a fun game. I mean, I, I am killing people, but yeah. Let's see what I... No, I know what I got from Mortimer, but let's just... Ooh. 
I can never get sick of all these fine tunes. The Daily Moon. Is the forest haunted by witches? Creepy little wooden statues found all across the nearby woods. Um. Oh no. Oh no, I did. I don't like that. Because the previous dude, he he made statues. Um. Uh. Okay. Tomorrow science. A unique development in wind turbine design found. Increases energy production while lowering costs. That's good. Microscale steam mechanics could unlock access to a brand new dimension and possibly destroy the world. Hey, wait, 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 what? Um, excuse me. What? Huh? <laughs> what do you mean? Okay? I guess that's the thing now. Alright, I'm gonna put this away. We're not gonna talk about that. We're not gonna talk about that. Um, spawn mail. Morning, Grim. A new day dawns. You ought to know the drill by now, but just in case, here's a simple one. No special request today. Try to follow the rules and send the appropriate profiles. Then send, choose the, ah, choose the appropriate for profiles, then send them to me by fax. Quota, two humans have to die. Keep up the good work, fates. Oh, boy. Oh. Oh. Hold on just one second. Ooh, oh, I like this one. Yo. I did not expect this game to have this kind of... Whoa. Whoa. Wow, this music. Holy shit! Oh, I, I can't, I can't focus with this good music. Hello? What? Um, I'm just kind of dumb, dumbfounded. All right, okay, I, I, I gotta focus, I gotta focus. I, that just completely blew me out of the water. Um, this is very Poggers. Yes, it is! Very Pog Champ. Columbia Hunter, too bad they don't have nine lives. Okay, so, um, this dialogue down here just keeps on repeating. Okay, I need to change the music because I, I, I ooh, this is, this is really good. I'm having a really hard time trying to turn off the music because I... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I think it's looping now. Alright, now I can focus. This is some good music that I can focus to. Alright. Columbia is a distinguished war ven uh, veteran. These days, working as a well-regarded passenger airplane pilot. They're happily married and have five children. As a hobby, Columbia is extremely his uh, interested in the history of religious buildings. Okay, well, I like this dude. Krista Sind, 50, real estate agent. Krista has worked in real estate for 20 years. Got a nice house, they'll sell it. Got a crooked house, they'll sell that too, even for a fetching high, even fetching a high price. Some deficiency must be concealed, of course, but money is money, right? Ooh. Ooh, I don't like that. No, 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 no. Sorry, Krista, I, you've, you've already put me, like, already got on my bad side, I'm sorry. 
Hayden B. Blackburn, age 41, field researcher geology. Hayden is a geologist who is adamant in their belief that microscale steam mechanics are totally doable. They dream of creating a microscale model steam train by using the soon to be available technology. Hmm, I, I, I don't have any opinion on this dude. What about this dude? Glory Magnuson Hel Helbert, age 42, position historian. While still in their, when still in their early 20s, Glory harbored some edgy and extreme views on society and the world in general, up until the point where they grew up and calmed down, readjusting their in interest on societal, societal issues to gain, gain greater knowledge of history and the myriad structures that affect our lives. And Leo Bojarski. I don't like this dude's face, if I'm going to be honest. Age 67, position uh, politician. Leo has been in politics for over 40 years, and in that time they've worked hard on relaxing the government's meddling in the real estate market. Although nobody has found proper proof, they, there have been rumors that Leo has taken many bribes from a number of realtor agencies. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Um, I've already made my choices, but chat! Chat, once again, you're a part of this too. Who lives and who dies? I'm gonna move all of these over here. Oh, this is difficult. Still waiting on chat to respond. Okay. Leo and Krista can get yeeted. Yep, that's what I was thinking too. All right. Goodbye. Um, no, wait, what? Okay. Um, Oh, right, I don't have my marker. I need to get the marker of death. Which is a very funny pun. Bye. Oh, 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 I can draw. I can actually draw on this. Oh my, oh no. Oh no. I didn't know I could draw on this. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> um, yeah, all right, live, yes. Live and live. There we go. All right, I think we're done here. That is that is very funny. Puppet with that drawing skills. Puppet with that drawing skills. What will he do? <laughs> All right. Now I believe I go up to Fate's office. Grim, my latest spawn. Three days you have been with us. How do you feel? Awesome, balancing the world, getting things done, fine more or less. Still, it's still a bit confusing. I feel hungry all the time. How is that even possible? Probably some of the psychic residue left over from the creation. Making a death is not simplistic alchemy. 
Now, let me take a look at the files you sent in today. Right. Everything looks to be in order. All right. You have followed the rules and marked the correct amount of profiles. There really is not much else to say. You may leave. See you tomorrow. Chat, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing. I really don't know if I'm doing the right thing. That feeling when you uh, kill people and then jazz music. Yeah! <laughs> Prepare for a perilous adventure on the ocean of quality merchandise. Oh boy. What is this? The Calvera clothing. Only a noble craftsman can craft an, an alphanique of this caliber. Exquisite. Tasty. No one can deny that, I ha that I'd have the sweetest possible vi visage if I wore this. Peculiar flicks twirl disquietly inside this glass globe, never settling. In the middle of the storm, sand figures too difficult. Stand figures too difficult to, to discern. Everything seems to be in a state of constant transfiguration. Uh, is there anything I can? I can buy this thing, I guess. Sure. Dear mate, has a tragic tale. You ever hear of the Dia de Mortos? No. A wild night, certainly. There we was, celebrating the passing of mi amigo. Several days later, woke up buried under a mountain of empty bottles. This mask stuck to me face. Never knew where it came from. But I will happily let the memory of me fellow buccaneer and me headache be carried by another. <laughs> okay. I guess. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, I need a mirror for that. Alright, let's do another one. I'm just gonna do all seven days, and then I'm gonna stop. What's new? Crow News all survived in a plane crash due to skillful efforts of pilot. Hey! Awesome! Crow News, local pol politician struck dead after being struck by a car. Police have not yet ruled out a deliberate hit. Oh, boy. Me too. Oh, that's clever. Welcome to Art History, a new series on the structures be behind the shifts and changes of society. Okay. Crow News, real estate legend Krista Sind crushed after house collapses during a sale. Client managed to escape. Yikes. Tomorrow Science, interviewing the... Intre interviewing the intrepid crew exploring the depths of the ocean. Poggers, correct. All right, I'm I'm happy with this one. I'm happy with this, with this one. Hello, Grim. Grim, have you looked outside today? It rains. It has been raining for hours. Appro appropriate to accompany the despondence within me. Well, here are some rules for you. Oh, I mean, okay, fate. Quota for the day. Three humans have to die. Ah, oh, another day, another death. I could never get sick of all these fine tunes. I got. I, I want to change the music. Did I just turn it off? Alright. Alright. So, does it only have three songs? Yeah, there it is. Okay. I think I can work with this music now. I just need some time to just get used to it. Ooh. 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 Raven Cursed. Age 29. Position Professional Athlete. Raven is enjoying a moderately successful career as a deadlifter. They have a brother, Ronald, and a child, Mira. In their spare time, they like going hiking and camping. Mira is constantly inspired by Raven's de determination and wishes to continue in their footsteps. Okay, Raven I like a lot. Itoro Aloe. Hold on a second, chat. I just need to do something. Enjoy these tunes while I am absent.
Name, Itoro Aloe, age, 19, position, pro gamer. Looks like we have a gamer, oh boy. Itoro started out playing competitive games as they loved, believing in themselves when no one else did. They kept getting better, and but life kept getting more difficult. Itoro had a really good shot at my hand until they got involved in its esports doping scandal. Ooh. I like this dude. And I don't know if, if it was his fault that, or th their fault that they got involved with the esports doping scandal. We'll keep that as a maybe. Maybe. I like this dude. Sadiq Al Bashir, age 27, position student. Sadiq enjoys university life and does not want it to change, ever. That's why they're changing their major for the third time. Sadiq is also deep in debt and afraid about the professional prospects after they actually finish school. Ooh. I hate to say it, but. It would be do like I would be doing them a favor. That is that is so wrong. That is so bad. Oh no. Oh no. Ah. Uh... I'm gonna put that right here. That is no. Oh. That's, that is very bad. Evelyn D. Space, age 31, position submarine commander. In their youth, Evelyn read the works of Anne Bar Jules, author of many fantastical adventure novels. Inspired by the, inspired by the novel The Teenage Commander, they decided to become one, a commander that is, themselves, and drive thousands of leagues under the sea. And they did! Well, good for her! Um, and name Nikolai Hillis, age 46, pos position unemployed. Nikolai isn't going to work anymore, ever, and they don't really have to because once upon a time, they stole a ton of money in a heist, then hid the money, and then all their heist partners died due to more or less mysterious causes. Grim, I am watching you. You should mark this profile to lit. Hello? Hello? Um, fate? What? Fate? Come on. Ah, uh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh, oh no. Lucky! Lucky, don't you dare smile at me! No! Oh, this sucks! This is ass! I'm not good at making choices like these! Okay, so here's the question. Here's, here's the... Here's the choice. I either... Kill someone who hasn't done anything wrong... Or, I piss off fate. I'm not exactly sure if I want to piss off fate. It's time for some death. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, no. Actually, you know what? I'm absolving myself from any responsibility. Chat, this is your choice. You get to choose this time. It is not my fault whatever happens now. I am putting the, the responsibility on you. The highest person gets. The highest person gets. Oh, the. Alright, then who's dying? Who's dying then? Mwahahahaha, <laughs> very funny.
Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Laugh it up. Who's dying? I'm giving you 30 seconds because. Look, I. Man. Commander person can go and Raven too. Not Raven! No! No! Not Raven! Look, Raven has a kid! Raven has a kid and. Oh, man. Chat. Chat. Oh, no! I don't like this. Commander person can go. Where, where's the commander person? Hold on. Really? Really? You want to get rid of her? Oh man. I didn't expect the choices to be this tough, but I guess... Very funny. Oh, man. Kill all of them. Very cool, yes. Thank you for your contribution, Dominic. I want to piss off fate, but chat has spoken. Uh... Do I look like a monster to you? I'm just doing my job. Doesn't mean like I have to like it. Uh, oh, this is such a tough choice. Uh, okay. Okay, chat, we're gonna compromise. We're gonna compromise. We're gonna count. No, wait. Yeah, she's. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? Um. Evelyn. Evelyn's had had time to, to be what they wanted to be, so, uh, I didn't want to do this. I didn't want to do this. But I guess, um, uh, yeah, alright. Live and... Raven is living. Raven is living. That is my choice. And I'm sorry, Atoy, but gamers do not. I mean, th this is what it means to be a gamer, I guess. Alright. Fate, come on. Grim, there you are. Let us be quick. All the profiles are here, just as requested. Excellent work. Yeah, well... You didn't give me much room with, like, putting... Tying my hand behind my back with that specific 
specific one that I didn't want to save, but I guess. You even adhered to my little test note. I commend you for exhibiting vigilance. Yeah, yeah. I am beginning to sense a tinge of pride growing within me. I did not expect you to turn out such a good and dedicated reaper. I'm only doing it for the job. I, I need money. I need money, honestly. If you keep this up, you will get far. You may be even promoted to a middle management position. Imagine the possibility. Imagine. Ah, oh, fate, really? What does a cat have to, to do with this? It's a, it's a cat! What? Alright. Anyway, I am quite busy tonight, so you can go. Until tomorrow, Grim. Alright, uh... More money! Yay! Let's see if I can get anything from the shop. What ho! How can me humble and not at all adventurous self assist you today? I love the voice acting in this game, by the way. I'm like, I haven't said much about the game besides the music, but the voice acting is pretty good. Uh, Lethian Obliterator. The Lethian Obliterator is means used to remove grievous mistakes, meaning it erases whichever mark you made on a profile, one use only. Okay. I'll take it. Avast. This tale is beyond reproach. We were sailing the high seas when we found a shipwreck full of these off the coast of the wild wakes. It has power to erase even the most dreadful of mistakes. It's an eraser. Used it to erase one of my risky love letters. And you know what? Never heard from the love interest again. <laughs> Amazing little thing. All right, bye. I... I I still don't know what you are, but I, I guess, see ya. I should really add a skeleton emote to better twitch.tv. Alright, I gotta go back to bed. Alright, time to work. Read this. I'm not feeling this music. There we go. Crime law, law, crime, 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 yeah. crime watch. Law enforcement on the lookout. Old stolen banknotes reappear into circulation. Crow news deep. Ocean exploration submarine Leviathan disappears near the Cor Coronet Trench. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that sucks. Crow News, CEO of the Wat Wat social media platform, planning to open a museum of antiques and relics. Sans emote. Do I really need a Sans emote, for God's sake? Lucky? Lucky, I'm putting you on this. Draw. If you can draw me a Sans, I will add it. Um, alright. CEO. Yeah, okay, we read that. And nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Alright. Read this. Morning, Grim. Good, you are paying attention after all. We cannot allow workers to doze off or become complacent, else mistakes may sneak into the workflow pipeline. Quota for the day. Two humans have to die. Spare any humans with a science background. I hope you are enjoying the fate routine. Fate. Okay. Done! Good! <laughs> Alright. Uh. Scientist. Background. Alright. Name, Jewel Gray. Age, 35. Position, biochemist. Jewel was born in the countryside, but moved to the big city to go to the university. They like rock concerts and bars, although their visits have fallen due to substance issues in the past. They're trying to find a cure for chicken flu. 
Ah. Uh, okay, well, at least he's trying. Scott works as a... Scott... Scott Scotsman. What a hell of a name. Uh, Scott works as a dentist, but sometimes regrets not becoming a scientist. Thinking it's too late to switch careers, they occasionally quest, qu quench their thirst for science by trying trying to invent new tooth-filling materials. Okay. Dude, I don't know. Please, no. First off, I don't like going to the dentist, so you've already hit my my bad, bad side, unfortunately. Gregor Hayal, age 31, position archaeologist. Legitimate researcher or greedy tomb raider, consensus, consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts around the Ferdin region. Alright, well, I mean, it's not as bad as... I mean, it, it kind of is destroying history, but we'll, we'll keep that as a maybe. Oh, he'll regret it, alright, yep. A.G. Kaneka, age, or Kaneka, I, I, I don't know, age 31, posi position inmate, ooh. A.G. is currently incar incarcerated at the local jail for pro producing hard drugs at the organic synthesis lab that they had access to as a chemistry student. They still dream of finishing d their degree program after getting out of jail. A.G. now wish wishes to be a diplomat, diplomat as they are constantly negotiating gang deals in jail and surviving. Hold on, let me see that note again. Spare any humans with a science background. Ooh. Oh, that's, that's, that's devious. That's, oh, wow. Because I don't know if this counts as, like, being a science... Um, having a science background. That's devilish. Chat, what do you think? Does this count as having a science background? Yes or no? I'm not seeing uh, much. So I'm going to leave that for later. I'll look at the other ones. Aman... Amantia... Amanita... Uh, Muscovich. Age 29? Uh, position researcher. I guess it's the chemistry student stuff. I mean, I guess. I, I, I still don't know. I, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna leave, push that to the side just for now, because if that's what um, fate wants, then oh boy. A manita has dedicated their life to researching the end of days. When not walking, they take their pile of dogs for a walk, or stompishly drive around in their vintage car, even though the battery is chronically empty. Otherwise, they have no personality or no political views whatsoever. All right. Oh, this is a researcher. Alright, I still don't know. Garrett Gelt. Age 36, position, inventor, scam artist. Who is, who is this person? A nobody. Vain and arrogance, they promised numerous grand inventions, all of which failed. Blind by ego, ego, egoism, they refused to learn any lessons and continued on this path, ultimately leading to the ruin of several businesses and the death of a number of people. See, now this guy... This guy, I am 100% going to just yeet into the void. Goodbye. I am sorry you have made a bunch of mistakes. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. 
I, you're the, you are the one who's, who has done this, done this. Uh. Well, how many people am I? Two humans have to die. Okay, well. Chat, I'm thinking uh, for these two. Because they don't have ba uh, science backgrounds. And. Scott Scutsman, yeah. Uh, this guy is completely. Completely an asshole. This guy is just doing normal stuff. Um, uh, the choices are getting harder and harder and harder. It's a good thing I'm only taking a quick look at this because... Oh, I would suffer through the rest of the game. I would suffer so much. Because again, I hate making choices. This is, this is one hell of a game for me. Puppet, I do not see. I'm very funny. I don't think I'll be needing to use this just right yet. But I know that I'm going to be setting Jewel for Liv. Liv. This dude gets to live. And... Uh... This dude gets to live. Alright, let's just put these papers away, because... It's just clogging the screen at this point. Farewell, you two. Fuck you. And goodbye. Alright, I think I'm done. Alright, fate. What a day, Grim. What a day. Correct. Let us go over your conduct first. Good. I see the correct amount of profiles. Today seems to be in order. Anyway, Grim. Five days? Five days you have been with us. How does it feel to make the difficult choices? I still feel awful about every choice. Perhaps that is for the best. It may keep you connected to the world, holding off the indifferent. But think of the humans. Do you think our office is the appropriate way to deal with them? Um. I'm not sure. Ah, the question is too difficult. After all, you have not even lived a week. You have not seen what the tradition has wrought. This control over all the lives, unbeknownst to the humans, do you not consider it unethical to make the choices you made? Uh... I'm not really happy with the situation, no. Yet you have no opportunity to elicit a change. It may sound unfair, but it is not. The office is perennial and venerated. Eons we have spent designing the appropriate methods and strategies. We know what we are doing. Are you sure about that? 
Oh, I do apologize for taking up so much of your time. Before you go, are there any questions you would like to ask me? Um... Okay. I wonder if I can ask all of these questions or I only have one question that's, uh, that I can ask. Um... I don't need to ask this one. Uh, what's the basis for the profiles? Is there a point system? Oh, <clears throat> not at all. Don't they all influence the world in many ways? In all and in none, yes. Is it predetermined? What about free will? Humans have some free will, sure. They can make a variety of choices. Yet what matters is that they cannot escape the inevitable. The life-threatening situations that bring them onto your Chat. I'm not sure what just happened. I don't know why my stream keeps cutting off. Um, but it is really kind of annoying. Sorry about the uh, stream turning off. I don't know what's causing that. I'm going to have to look at that um, later. Oh, that's annoying. All right. Well, I'm almost done, and I I hope I'll be able to stitch together all the um, the entire stream. Because that... Man! I thought I was done with troubleshooting. I guess not. Oh, well. Our office does not operate on information about biological backgrounds or genetic composition. No ethnic data? Minimal. Alright. Everyone you assess is simply human, after all. Excluding any monumental error in normal procedure. The bottom line is that the humans end up on your desk and that you must follow the rules. Anything else? What about animals? Do they get into apartments? Absolutely. All living beings have to be processed after the end. No escape. Even plants. What? Yes, there is a department for plants. What? Do not ask about the plant. Do not ask about the plant department. Hello, excuse me. What's so different about the plant department? What? Anything else? I have to ask. What about the unliving things, building stuff? Technically, uh, kind of. I guess ruins are like a type of dead. But then again, they often feel so alive. I must ponder. This topic is a bit too abstract for now. Let us table it. All right. Anything else? That's all I can think of. Right. It has been enlightening. I bid you a good night. See you tomorrow. Okay. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to end the stream here because I'm honestly getting tired and I also got to figure out why the stream kept going down. So thank you everyone for coming to watch whoever did. Still getting used to it. Still needing to uh, figure out a bunch of things, but... Yeah, this was a, a lot of fun. So, I'll see you all later. Probably tomorrow. And, uh... Have a good rest of your day. <laughs>